If I thought donning a beekeeper uniform and hanging out with honeybees was out of my comfort zone, well, today's episode is going to reveal yet another completely unfounded fear. For someone who espouses the benefits of fresh vegetables and fruits, you would think I have no problem using one of these. But yet, I do. Perhaps it's all the slasher movies I watched in the 70s and 80s because I have a completely unfounded fear of knives. So today I'm going to learn how to use them responsibly. <laughs> It's a really good thing that I have friends who can help me overcome my irrational fears, such as the fear of cutlery. So today I have invited Chef Taj to help me learn how to choose and use sharp objects in the kitchen. Now, I know, Chef Taj, you are the creator of Waffles and Caffeinated. Correct. Yes. And yes. where else have you worked? Uh, so I've also worked at the Greenbrier Hotel in West Virginia, uh, the Rich Carlton in Naples. I worked at Morimoto's in Philadelphia. Wait, the Morimoto? Mm -hmm, the Iron Chef. And then um, I spent a brief time in Japan working at a sushi restaurant there as well. And some also some various yacht clubs. So you know knives? I, I like to think so. Okay. Um, and we've joked about this. Um, just in passing, but um, I have absolutely no reason to fear what's on the table right now, but I get like I am right now with old, not, old, yeah, old and nervous. I think it's because I don't know how to Th use This them. is the one. This is the one well, you want to be scared of. the mandolin. Of. It's yeah. not a little guitar-like instrument. Okay, so let, let's start, with, before I even have to pick these up, let's just start by talking about what should just a home kitchen have in the way of these sharp objects so instead of bringing like a whole like toolbox or a full knife set which is a lot of times what you would find at like Kohl's or the mall that's or what we all we, registered for for our wedding we all got knife it? blocks yeah with everyone like gets all knife these blocks. knives that we and, don't know what and, and to what, do do you, what do you end up what ends up happening you get these knife blocks they sit on your counter and how many do you use two normally you use a, a paring knife it's super handy sure. you normally use a chef's knife and then a lot of times you'll you'll need a bread knife yeah just, just for bread this is a mandolin you adjust it on the back. Okay. Okay. And you take whatever fruit or vegetable Your and you is. and you slice it, and it comes out super thin. The only thing is, is these are notorious uh, for taking fingers. I would stay with the items that are currently right here. Um, this can can make your life easy, but okay. normally it's good to practice good knife foundations. Really, all other devices sold in kitchen stores are designed around trying to skip past knowing how to use a knife properly. Where would you tell someone, even if it's just a home chef, where would you tell someone to get their knives? Actually, the internet. The uh, in, internet. Yeah. Um, the unless you have, Unless you have like a, a kitchen or a restaurant store close by for home. Yes. Uh, an eight inch chef's knife, like this is a nine and a half. You don't need anything bigger than this for home. But the way that a knife cuts, a knife doesn't cut like, like an ax necessarily, where okay. it's like, straight down right. and this is a this is a big problem that people run into when they start cutting things so if i take this knife even though it's sharp and i push it against my hand do okay, not do this at home yeah and you can see where the, the the knife divot was now if i was to do that and pull i would i would cut into myself the key to cutting through anything is to is to pull or push let's say that i have purchased a really nice chef knife mm -hmm. a paring knife um maybe a third Bread knife. Bread knife. How do you wash and care for an investment? Hot water, hot soapy water, and a wash rag. And uh, wipe it off, dry it. I don't recommend putting your knives in the dishwasher. I knew you were going to say yeah, that. The dishwashers are notorious for beating up. It's not friendly. So as just friendly take to care of your knives. Wash them hot, soapy water. So I'm getting myself a chef knife, a bread knife, and a good paring knife. Now, I have a glass cutting board. Okay, I. You're stopping me right yeah, there. I would. Do you look at not the hand came up? Would, you're like, I would, no. I, would I told you. I don't know cheese, what I'm doing. Make a cheese. <laughs> make a cheese board out of it. Wood cutting boards for for home cooks is is what I would recommend. So we're gonna chop, dice, mince. We're gonna go have fun in the kitchen, and you're gonna calm my fears. Okay, we'll, we'll try. We'll get started. Okay. Take some progress and group. I feel like I need to bow to the samurai. No, no. 
So a couple of safety things. The first thing I do, this is a pet peeve of mine, I always put a wet rag. Really? Down on the table first. And the reason for that... So is it doesn't slide. So it doesn't slide, right. And then you want to kind of bring it to the edge of the table. Okay. So it's it's closer to your, to your hips. You always put your knife blade facing away from you. It's that in case right you there. like trip? Well, it's actually when you go to scoop food into your hand or something. Or that. Yeah. Right. So if it's like this, then that little bit of rise from yeah. the handle, you'll cut your pinky. I'll start with a paring knife. Okay. Real quick. What I do is I hold it in my hand, and you're actually going to pull it into your thumb, right? And I know that's a little uncomfortable, but you're going to you're going to stop. Okay. Okay. And um, you, so like a strawberry, take it, and just slice through, and okay. Snip off the top, and then you can. So when you hold this, yes. see how you're holding it. Towards you, like towards you right now. Yes. Right? Sorry. Turn your blade. You want you want to be able to put your thumb. Go ahead. Go ahead. Just oh, trust I me. see. Okay. Don't inchworm your thumb because then you will okay. cut yourself. But you just you want to pull. Use your thumb to pull the strawberry, right? And it takes a little bit to get used to. Keep your knife straight. There you go. Look at that. I'm touching the blade. Okay. And you just want to make sure that you. Okay. Okay. So you really have to. Oh gosh, that's great. Right. Just... This this allows you to cheat. Because then you can do, and then you get your. Is that Julianne? That is Julianne. Now, before we go into the snacks, I'm going to show you another valuable thing. Okay. So, see how your hand is right here? Yes. Right? Watch what happens. Okay. See? Okay. That was a little scary. So, choke up on your knife. So, like on a bat. Relax. You're playing ball. Relax. Relax your hands. Okay. Take this finger. Yes. Okay. Bend it here. Okay. And pinch with your thumb and your forefinger. Okay. All right. So now wrap your other fingers around. Okay. <laughs> just like that. Now watch. Watch what happens. Hold on. Yeah. You, you just try it, buddy. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> See how much. So there's a. Uh, normally it's good to start out with your paring knife. Okay. And core out your tomatoes, right? So you're gonna hold it, and you're kind of gonna you see do that? little stabs and core your tomato out. Okay. All right. Tuck your thumb in. Okay. And then hold on to the vegetable. It's better if I show you. Yep. Kind of like this. Almost like almost like a spider's legs. So don't apply too much pressure, just pull. See, let the knife do the work. Pull. See, all right, so see right at the beginning, you're yeah. you're you're pushing down. I am, I'm trying really yeah. hard. Relax, relax. Don't push down. Don't push down. Because okay. you can make more than one cut. Let me just pretend we're having a little conversation. Yeah. Pull. There you go. See how much easier that is? So the other day, while I was getting my groceries, see? See yeah. how that was? Yeah. What do you do when you you're running to... out of room for your fingers to hold on to something though? Okay, so you turn from it. there. You flip it. You can lay it down, all right? And here. You can go that way or this way too. So yeah. make, make a flat hand, like paper, rock, scissors. Yeah. Peppers are... Slippery. Peppers are very... Well, slippery. they're slippery. But they're also unique because they have like a, a skin, okay. right? And sometimes if your knife is dull, that skin will... You you like have to apply a little bit more effort. And you'll hear it on a cutting board. It'll be like a chunk sound, right? Okay. If you hear that, you probably should sharpen your knife. Okay. Okay. So there's two ways to break down a pepper. You can cut the tops off and then go in a circle. Or you can peel it. And then... Oh, that's fancy. That's fancy. See what you're doing right here? Yes. Okay, so don't do that. <laughs> don't do this here with your thing. fingers. Okay. You always want your knife, okay, to, when your fingers touch your fingers touch your knife, you want your knuckles. This is a good picture right here. Yeah, you yeah. want your knuckles. So bend those fingers in, those little, those little fingers in. Right, you want your knuckles to touch a knife. Onions, onions are the same way as tomatoes. You just okay. have to remember you have layers. Okay. Okay. And um, another a trick, this is like a, a, a tricky one. You have to be careful, because I have seen people, you know, like mess up on this, but take the little knob out. Okay. On top of your avocado. All right. Hold it in your hand. Okay. Now there's a big pit, so you have to be, you gotta be relaxed. Okay. All right. There you go. Okay. Okay. All right, and roll roll the avocado. So you want to roll the knife around around the blade. Okay. All the way. Yeah, and this only works for a ripe avocado. Okay. All right, and then you want to twist it. One half will get your your core. Now, ever so gently, take your knife. What? That's yep. the. Take your knife. It just. Okay, and then turn turn the pit. Oh wait! Thanks to Urban Touch for letting us take over the kitchen so that I could learn to uh, increase my confidence with this knife. You know, 
it might be more convenient to buy your vegetables and fruits already cut up, but it's not cost effective. So the best thing you can do is to learn how to use kitchen utensils correctly, and especially one of these for the health of it. Maintain control of the sharp object.